Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm on. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm on Manus. What a great intro. I'm on Manus. Today I will review the third studio album by the British rock band The Beatles. Yeah, and. Oh, wait, actually. It's their fourth album after A Hard Day's Night. And after this, I'm gonna do A Hard Day's Night. So, this was their fourth album. This came after Please Please Me with the Beatles and A Hard Day's Night, like I said. This was kind of in a tra transitional period. This was really their, arguably their last really generic album that I, you know, I really don't give a shit about these early albums. Because they're so derivative, they're so one tone, they're so just one tone, you know, they're so one dimensional. I really don't care for these albums. Uh, I do, I do, I do fuck with the the previous album though. So I do, I, I am gonna give a positive, a more positive review on that album. Let me say that. Preface on more, more positive. So there, there you go. So I'm not really a fan of this album to be honest. I do have it saved on Spotify because you know it's the Beatles, and I, I have everything about the Beatles as in on Spotify, but. I really don't like. I never return to these like early albums because I just don't care. So I might remove them on Spotify. I don't know. Uh, I am planning on you know getting them on vinyl too. You know because some people are wondering, hey, you don't have any Beatles vinyl. When are you gonna get it? When are you gonna get some Beatles vinyl? I don't know. Soon. I have some like you know. I'm more. I'm more of a metalhead, so um, I'm more into metal bands, more recent bands. So I'm more focusing on that. As you can see, maybe at my background, you know, more metal than you know, pop rock essentially. So I was not a huge fan of this album. It did did start off pretty nicely with you know, no reply was catchy. I'm a loser was kind of uh, self beaten I think, kind of like a sore song, kind of pathetic. Oh, what the f <laughs> babies in black? What? I actually didn't read the title. I kind of skipped over that one. Well, what the fuck is the title? Uh, I assume they mean as in black clothing. I hope that's what they mean. <laughs> wow, that, that song title did not age well. Holy shit. Rock and roll music, co-written by Chuck Berry. Who would have guessed? Re like, just listen to Chuck Berry, I think, you know. I don't really care for this song because it's written by Chuck Berry. I don't hate Chuck Berry, but it's it's like fucking 40s or 50s music. I really don't give a shit about rock and roll music. You know, in the most in the most literal term, actual rock and roll, the genre. You know, the subgenre. I do I do fuck with ro rock, of course. I do fuck with rock music, but not rock and roll. You know, this and uh, Chuck Berry and the Rolling Stones, shit like that. I don't really fuck with, it, to be honest. I'll follow the sun. It's good, but. It reminds me of a way better song, of a way better album, so let me just say that. Mr. Moonlight, cool title, I do like the title, but uh, it's co-written by, or it's written, I think, by Roly Johnson. So another song that sounded really, you know, uh, kind of out of place on this album. You know, however you want to, like, fucking label this album. But I do like it, I, I think it's good. It is a step for, uh, forward, you know, compared to the last couple of songs, so that's... A step up but still not really feeling it you know it has a an outside rider it does make the band a bit different so i don't really fuck with it then we have kansas city i wish i could listen to kansas right now right about now fucking hell uh not that i prefer kansas over the beatles but i do like um i prefer early kansas over early beatles let me tell you that I do prefer that Kansas, so there you go. Uh, but Kansas City, it's not terrible. I think that the first half is okay, but the second minute, it's kind of ridiculous though, along this title is Kansas City, Hey Hey Hey, written by Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller and Richard Penniman. Oh, don't fucking do that, Trent. Trent always has to fucking annoy me. Um, yeah, but fucking three outside riders and I barely remember this song, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that's probably because the next song was so memorable for me at least eight days a week Which is a pretty pretty funny kind of fuck all song, you know um, You know, they're arguably saying that, you know, Beatles fans especially Well, that kind of sounds sexist though, but you know, a lot of these fucking female Beatles fans 
like, I know that women are dumb, but I'm saying that a lot of these, like, uh, female Beatle fans are so, like, blinded by love that, yeah, let's go with that. They're so blinded by the love from the Beatles, they're so blinded by love that, you know, they will essentially believe this, like, a day has eight, or a week has eight days, like, they will believe it because the, the Beatles wrote it, and... It has to be a true because Gido, uh, Gidos, I want to compare Jesus and Beatles, the Beatles are Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, essentially they're always right, right? Not really. <laughs> because even John Lennon is delusional as fuck, especially in the later years. And Paul McCartney is essentially a dead rocker. So, yeah, that's not Jesus, mate. But John Lennon thought he was and then he got shot down. Jesus got shot down. Uh, not, not that I'm saying that he's Jesus, but... He takes himself that he's Jesus, so there you go. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, great song. Easily my favorite song on the album, together with No Reply, uh, at the moment at least. Words of Love, Rhythm of Buddy Holly, uh, didn't really feel this one, really generic. Uh, Honey Don't, really annoying, but Rhythm of Carl, Carl Perkins. Really repetitive, really like annoying tone too, that just repeated throughout the whole song so I didn't really fuck with that to be honest every little thing yeah it just reminds me of a way worse song or, or just a better song oh no it actually reminds me of a better song every, every little thing she does is magic by the police I do fuck with that song way more than I do this song yeah so it reminds me of a better song so fuck that I don't want to spoil the party but I don't want to spoil how mediocre this album is to me at least um, what you're doing? Well, listening to a pretty lackluster album. That's what I'm doing, uh, George Harrison or Paul McCartney, yeah, Lennon McCartney. Everybody's trying to be my baby, also written by Carl, Perkin Carl Perkins, what a fucking name. And Carl always writes the most, like, really cheesy love songs in a way, Honey Don't and Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. Really the most derivative kind of like, um, you know, I love you baby girl, you know, those songs, like the boy band songs, like I don't fuck with that, of course. So, Carl, Perkin, Carl Perkins, don't write songs, mate, or don't write songs from Beatles albums that, you yeah, know, I, I don't want you to write songs for, for artists that I actually like, so there you go. Yeah, you know, not, not throwing any shade Carl Perkins' way, but I just don't fuck with his songwriting style, I just don't fuck with it, man. So this album is really boring to me. It's definitely my least favorite album by the band because uh, at, at least with Please Please Me, it had some really good moments. It has some really rhythmic parts um, that I really like, but this album just doesn't have like barely any of that to be honest. Like the, the opening was pretty good and the opening of Satu was pretty good. And you know, anything in between is pretty questionable. So. Not anything really terrible, but everything was just so generic to me, like so uh, forgettable. From you know, for me, it all sounds the same. So there you go. So I would give this album a five point eight out of ten. I really don't like this album. You know, it's not awful, but I just I just don't fuck with it to be honest. I just don't fuck with the early Beatles discography because it's so it's so derivative. So that's kind of it, honestly. Um, there you go, partners for questions, by the way, I forgot to tell, but there you go. Um, that's my review of the album. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel for free to like this one. And let me know what you think about this album by the Beatles. What do you think about their early discography? I really don't care for it, but I do, I do fuck with their later discography. You know, they're still one of my favorite artists out there. You know, um, you might not believe that, but they're still like one of my favorite bands out there. But I don't care, I just don't fuck with their early discography. I really don't care for it. I do kind of fuck with A Hard Day's Night and Help. I'm going to review A Hard Day's Night after this, so stay tuned for that. Maybe I will give that a high rating. I have to listen to it in a while. So, um, stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next video. Is this album on the fucking 500 chart? It probably is. Like, it's a fucking Beatles album. This album is actually not on the top 500, I'm pretty sure. This is, I believe, the only like early Beatles album that, not, that didn't get on the top 500 chart. I don't think it did though. Did it? It, it might. Oh, I'm not seeing it though. We're also rated 4.5 stars. So I don't think that did. Um, meh, there you go. Um, that was it. Bye, later, whatever.